Welcome back to Sight Tech and Mountain Training videos. My name is Jeff Larson. Today I want to talk antennas and the different antenna options that came with your base station and how these play into your job sites and how they may affect or negatively affect your job sites based on which one you're using. It's a little bit of a misconception on which one I should use. Traditionally with your bases, your old 855s or your new R750s, it comes with three different antenna options. The one that most people use is this big whip antenna, is, like, is what we've been calling it. It's got the double banded ribs on here, and it's on, sitting on the dog bone. A lot of people are using this, but what we have noticed over the years is sometimes using this on a small job site is not the best option. So that's what I just wanna do in a quick video right here is explain the different antennas and let you kind of play on your job sites, which, which one might be the right one or which one might not be. And we're also gonna talk really quickly about certain things that'll affect your base antenna signal. So let's say we have a job site where you've got looking down on a big concrete pop-up building. Those big tall ones affect your antenna uh, strength a lot. And there's sometimes not a lot you can do about it. If you had your base on one corner, and you're trying to bounce that signal over to some machines working over here. Sometimes even if you're using the big antenna or the smaller one, it's not going to be able to get it there to you. So you may have to have another base location on the other corner or bounce it over there with a repeater. That concrete structure is going to affect your antenna signal no matter which one. That might be a good option to try the IBSS station system where it's actually sending it out through your base, the corrections to uh, through internet, through an air card, and it could bounce to your machines and we've had better success getting around those with that. Having said that, with these different antennas, a lot of times getting the antenna higher is better. So if we had kind of a ground elevation here, if you get your base station up, most people have the Zephyr antenna six or seven feet off the ground. The, uh, the antenna is right there, which is fine. But a lot of times, if you can get that antenna up to a higher location, it's going to help kind of broadcast out over. But here's one thing that might affect you, is the fact that this antenna is sending out such a strong signal that when the machines get up close to these antennas, if you had it up high, or even if it was down low, what we've struggled with is if the machine was down here, that signal is so strong that it's actually almost what I call screaming at your machines. So you may have an older machine with an older radio and a new base or vice versa, older base, newer machine. It all plays in on how this signal gets to your machine, even if you're picking up 17, 18 satellites. So we've had scenarios where with this antenna, it sends out, I'm just gonna draw it like this, a really strong signal, but the band may not be way tall. This one's designed to get out four miles, hopefully, three to four miles if there's a lot, a lot of interference. This one is not gonna get you the distance that you need, but the way that I draw it is sometimes it's a little bit more of like a bigger band. It won't go quite as far that way, but it may cover you in an area like that. So I don't have an exact acreage set out for you, but let's take like a Walmart building and a parking lot. Walmart building, with the parking lot out front, a job site like this, just as a scenario, that may be you know 10 to 15 acres. That one may actually be a good scenario for this antenna, which is kind of the happy medium in between these two. This one might be a good one to try on that. Um, a smaller job site, let's say you had just like a building in the corner of that project, you're just working like a, a McDonald's or something, or just a a tire store or something, this might be your better option um, to be able to cover a smaller area. It won't be yelling at your machines or your rovers, but it'll still get the signal out there. Now, with this antenna, it can go right in the same port in the back that you would put your other antenna to come to the other others. But remember that this one that comes in your case has the bend on it. The reason for that is so that if you actually set it down flat and you set this down on your case or in something, you don't want the signal shooting straight out. The, end, the information comes out this way. That's why I would suggest you bend it up like that. So if you set it down, the signal's broadcasting out this way. If you put it up and hang it, which most people do, 
put it down so that the signal's coming out side to side or if you hang it that way. So anyways, this may be something that you just need to play with on your own job sites. Don't always revert to this unless you're constantly working on job sites that have a lot of length or a lot of distance um, in, in an area this way. But these two are really, really good antennas for smaller job sites like this. Once again, I don't have an exact acreage figured out for you, but just play with these. We struggle with this all the time. We have people that will use these and then they'll go and they'll struggle and they'll be like, hey, when I get close to the base, it doesn't work. My machines aren't picking up the signal. Just try this antenna. The other thing to look out for is to keep an eye on the age or the abuse that may be happening to some of your cables here that go to these taller antennas. They're known for breaking inside here, the coax will. If they get bent or wiggled or just sit out there in the wind and whip all day, metal can only bend so much before it's actually gonna break and it may look okay, but we have a lot of failure right here on just any cable that goes to them. So just keep an eye on that. And then same thing with the antennas that you have on your machines. The ones that don't have the bend here, if they just sit out there and whip in the wind so for a really long time, they can also be damaged on the inside and be giving you struggle to get signal from the base. So just keep in mind your different scenario, your different situations on the job site, and maybe play with different antennas to, to get your, your setup right. So hopefully this helps. Uh, thank you for watching this video from Site Tech Intermountain on uh, the proper antennas off of your base station. Thank you.